Hello. Um, my first poem doesn't have a name. His catalogue of betting receipts and the beer bottles with the fag ends in, the fruits of absurdity. The 30 year nine to five, the plastic robots and super dry souls that were his colleagues. We'll all grow old together and die having dreamt of Lamborghinis and platinum celebrity. The Netflix submission, the debit card prostration, online sub-existence, the smiles made of lead at the canteen, the greasy sandwiches with the flesh. His body is covered in enormous pores. He sinks back into the filthy bath of civilization and absorbs it all. Okay. This one's called uh, By My Face. <laughs> there are pictures of it all over the place. I'm dying for profit, so buy my face. <laughs> <Good. laughs> Going to take a, a different turn now. Um, you laid out shots of ash on the kitchen table and began to tell me one of Aesop's fables. Some lonely farmer was lonely but not farming because everything was covered in snow. He wandered aimlessly through the ice, old and in the cold, and stumbled upon something he didn't expect, something perfect. Peering upwards out of the powdery white sheet was the eye of a creature facing the sky and freezing, waiting to die. The, warm, the farmer wiped the snow off its body and discovered a bellicose viper, scales like sharpened maple leaves. The farmer felt pity on the viper and felt that they could be friends one day and warmed it by his furry white bosom. Then they, then they sat together by the fire and he hugged the snake and he kissed the snake and thought of his dear wife who was becoming too dead to remember. The viper regained its life and its prickly tongue, sharp like splinters, felt around the old man's flesh like a nasty stethoscope, and eyes enraptured bit him until he cried by the fire and then died by the fire. So you told me compassion fails in the end and only the selfish will prosper. Serve only yourself, never break, never bend, and be like the viper imposter. I thought, Father, I despise you with your curdled surmises and your ancient wisdom. You're old and you have no one, no friends' ears to bother and to bash, but I humour you anyway, and we gargle on our shots of ash. <clears throat> okay. The nymphs are departed. The nymphs are departed and ride dead through the dirt marshes. Celestial horses galloping behind Pegasus, their torpid leader. Weary hooves covered in swamp and his wings are dried to his back. A wrinkled, crooked nymph on smack. Swamp riding, filth riding on Pegasus's back. Parting sulfur in the sky, exhaling fumes in the cold. Crushing slugs with his trudge, dead or alive and swallowed by sludge. The nymph is calling, calling into the dark and leading them on to nowhere. The whip cackles and slaps at the hand of the hyena on his back, tiring in the swamp marshes, tiring, tiring, sinking deeper every stride, 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 helpless eyes bearing teeth, fearful cries of the larynx, then swallowed up by the mire. Bubbles and bubbles to the top, then gone. The nymph makes light work of the slime and wades to escape, forgets the dead horse in an instant, rejoins the stampede, and hungry for some smack, the nymphs are departed. Thank you very much.